Hi, and welcome to another lesson in our series of SOLIDWORKS training tutorials. In this lesson, I'll continue the series on sweeping. So let's get into it. Okay, so in this exercise, we're going to use the style spline and sweeping features. So let's start by creating a new model using the metric template. And I'll open a sketch on the top plane. So the first couple of lines I'm going to draw are construction lines. So I'm going to do that midpoint line and I'll make it for construction. Make it horizontal. And then I'll just do a construction line then from the middle straight down. And then I'll dimension them. So this one's going to be 28 millimeters and then this one will be 28 millimeters and that gives me a framework for my style spline so come up here and select a style spline and if I select that point come straight down now you'll notice a vertical it looks like a vertical relation added but it's not actually added it's just inferred so you, we're going to have to add those later on and even that one horizontal and perpendicular so we'll have to add those in in a second i'll show you what i mean hit escape so that's that control so you can see this is still kind of free to pull so so we're going to have to add those little relations in there so you've got that going on and then if i just tie that and make that coincident and that gets me a fully defined sketch on that next we're going to insert a couple of control vertex points so if i right click on either the ellipse or the frame it doesn't matter we can insert a control vertex and just pick a point i'm going to just pick a point roughly there and around about there same point on the far side and you can see we've our frames kind of just behaving a, a little bit on us misbehaving on us so we need to kind of control those so if I just make those two points horizontal and then if I zoom in so if I just hold control down and click on that line and just the end point of that and make that coincident on that so you can see it's still so so I'll pull up way on me there so I need to make this line horizontal and we're nearly there then so because this is not controlled and you could leave it like that and stretch it to whatever looks suitable but let's make it uh, nice and even so first of all I suppose if we just make it symmetrical so if I select that point the line and that point and we make those symmetrical we get that and then just pop in the dimension then so let's just make that maybe 105 something like that just to pull that in and you know it's really kind of up to you what what end shape you're really looking for on that but it's we've got our um we got our uh, spline style spline um, fully defined then at that so i'm gonna exit my sketch at that now move it to an isometric view then and I'm going to create a sketch on that front plane then so the front plane just so you can see it's, it's on that so create a sketch on that front plane I'm going to leave it sort of an isometric just because I find it handier to pick that end point so I'm going to draw an ellipse and it's just easier to pick that and then just go in vertical and on that. And then I can pop in my dimensions. So that's going to be 15. And that's going to be 8. And then we can make them to horizontal to fully define that sketch. I'm going to exit the sketch after that. Okay, so we've got sketch one and two. 
So once we've got those created, I'm going to now create a little sweep and the profile itself. So see, so this uh, the profile is actually going to be this part and the sketch. I kind of had it pre-selected, so it's kind of populated in. But the sketch um, for the profile is that first sketch that we've done. And just click OK on that, and you've got your nice little sweep going along there. Next, we're going to create the little foot. So I could spin this around and just do a sketch on that surface, zoom into it. And now if I just do offset entities, and it's 4 mil. Click OK on that. And then we'll exit the sketch and extrude. So we want to extrude in this direction. And I think it's going to be 3 mil. And you got merge results, so we can click OK on that. And then a couple of fillets then. So we've got a fillet. And it's a four mil fillet on this edge. And apply that. And then create another fillet. And just zoom into this one because there's two little lines very close, or little arcs very close to each other. So just click on that, the one at the base of the sweep. So that one, and we're just going to make this one 0.5. And click OK on that. And that's that. And then we're going to just mirror that to complete this part. So we're going to mirror. And the mirror face of plane is going to be the right plane. So run down the middle of that. And features to mirror are going to be the, obviously the two fillets and the boss extrude on that click OK and you've got that and you've got that complete if you want to add a little texture to it we might pick chrome yeah we'll go with brushed chromium pop it on that and you know make it at the at the part level and get a nice little brushed finish on that handle. That's the part complete and you just save that out. Thanks for watching this tutorial and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you can please. See you again soon.